Is the world losing its faith or is it merely shifting gears? Why are people leaving churches around the world? These questions have sparked conversations globally as a significant phenomenon unfolds before our eyes. We're witnessing a shift, a decline in church attendances and an increase in those identifying as atheists, agnostics or aligning with more naturalistic forms of spirituality. From the high steeples of Europe to the small chapels in the Americas, from Asia to Africa, the story is the same. A few decades ago this would have been unthinkable, but recent surveys and data have painted a rather stark picture. Thousands are stepping away from the pews, leaving the familiar comfort of their religious institutions. But this is not just about numbers, it's about people, their beliefs, their choices. It's about a change that's sweeping across our societies, our world. The question is, why is this happening? Let's dive into some of the reasons. The first and perhaps most obvious reason is the growth of science and education. This is a topic that is as fascinating as it is complex. The advancements in these fields have fundamentally changed the way we understand the world around us and have subsequently influenced our beliefs, our values and even our faiths. Take science, for instance. Over the centuries, it has peeled back the layers of the universe, revealing a reality that is often very different from what our ancestors imagined. The heliocentric model of the solar system, the theory of evolution, the discovery of DNA, the realization that our universe is approximately 13.8 billion years old, all of these scientific breakthroughs have challenged traditional religious doctrines. Then there's education, the rise of literacy rates worldwide, the accessibility of higher education, the proliferation of critical thinking and analytical skills. These factors have equipped individuals with the tools to question, to explore and to challenge the status quo. When people are taught to seek evidence, to demand logic and reason, they naturally begin to scrutinize the beliefs they've held often unexamined for their entire lives. Recent research supports these observations. A study published in the Journal of Scientific Reports found a significant negative association between religiosity and educational attainment in nearly 50 countries around the world. Moreover, the American Sociological Review reported that highly educated individuals are less likely to hold literal interpretations of religious texts and more likely to embrace metaphorical and symbolic interpretations. However, it's important to note that science and education don't necessarily negate faith. Many individuals successfully reconcile their religious beliefs with scientific understanding, seeing no contradiction between the two. And many educational institutions around the world still maintain a religious affiliation or foundation, but it's undeniable that for a significant number of people, the growth of science and education has led to a shift in beliefs, a questioning of doctrines and a re-evaluation of faith. Science and education have undeniably played a significant role in this shift, but there's more to the story. Another factor contributing to the decline in church attendance is the rise of secularism. As a philosophical viewpoint, secularism advocates for the separation of religious institutions from the machinery of the state, asserting that public activities and decisions, especially political ones, should be uninfluenced by religious beliefs or practices. It's a stance that has been gaining momentum, particularly in Western societies, over the past few decades. Secularism doesn't necessarily mean an absence of faith or spirituality, quite the contrary, in fact. Many people who align with secular principles maintain a personal, often profound, spiritual life. They choose to explore their spirituality outside the confines of organized religion, leading to a growing number of individuals who identify as spiritual but not religious. This phrase has become something of a cultural catchphrase encapsulating the modern shift towards personal subjective spiritual experiences as opposed to adherence to institutionalized religious doctrines. The rise of secularism has also encouraged a more critical examination of religious beliefs and practices. People are less likely to accept religious teachings at face value and more likely to question, explore and form their own spiritual understandings. This willingness to question and critique has led to a more pluralistic society where multiple belief systems coexist and are respected. Secularism also challenges the notion that morality is rooted in religion. More and more people are recognizing that ethics and values can be derived from secular sources such as human rights, social justice and personal conscience. 
This shift has further eroded the perceived necessity of religious institutions as the arbiters of moral conduct. In essence, secularism has played a significant role in the changing dynamics of faith and spirituality in contemporary society. It has broadened the spiritual landscape, allowing for a more diverse range of beliefs and practices. It has also challenged the traditional authority of religious institutions, leading many to seek spiritual fulfillment outside the church walls. Secularism, it seems, is reshaping the religious landscape. But is it the only socio-cultural factor at play? We cannot ignore the impact of changing social values on the decline in church attendance. Our world is in a constant state of evolution, and the societal norms of today are a far cry from what they were even just a few decades ago. This shift in societal values has created a chasm between traditional religious teachings and the modern world, causing a significant friction that cannot be overlooked. Let's take, for instance, the issue of homosexuality. A topic that was once considered taboo is now widely accepted in many parts of the world. People are embracing the freedom to love and marry whomever they choose, irrespective of gender. But in numerous religious doctrines, homosexuality is still viewed as a sin. This discord between societal acceptance and religious condemnation has led many to question the relevance of these religious teachings in our present-day society. Similarly, the fight for women's rights has gained substantial momentum over the past century. Women are no longer confined to the roles of just wives and mothers. They are business leaders, politicians, scientists, artists, and so much more. However, some religious teachings still uphold patriarchal structures that limit the roles and rights of women. This disparity between the societal progress and religious stagnation has caused many to re-evaluate their association with such religious institutions. Moreover, the rise of movements advocating for social justice, such as Black Lives Matter, has further emphasized the need for inclusivity and equality, yet there are religious institutions that have been slow to embrace these changes, causing a disconnect with a society that is increasingly valuing diversity and equality. It's important to remember that not all religious institutions are resistant to change. Many have adapted and evolved their teachings to better align with changing societal norms. However, those that have failed to do so are experiencing a decline in their congregations. As society evolves, so do its values and beliefs, and these changes are not always in line with traditional religious teachings. In the digital age, the Internet has become a key player in shaping our beliefs and attitudes. This vast, interconnected web of information has become a platform for debate, challenge and exploration of religious beliefs, unlike anything we've seen before. Imagine, if you will, a forum where people from every corner of the globe can gather, not bound by physical constraints or societal norms, and delve into the deepest questions of existence. The Internet has become a sanctuary for those who question a refuge where one can challenge established doctrines without fear of reprisal. It's a place where doubts are not just tolerated, but welcomed, where questions are encouraged, where the quest for truth is a shared journey. Here, in the digital realm, the exchange of ideas is not just possible, it's instantaneous and limitless. Online communities have sprung up offering support and validation to those questioning their faith, these communities, often anonymous, provide a safe space for individuals to express their doubts, their fears, their hopes and their dreams. It's a place where they can find others who are on a similar journey, who understand their struggles, who can provide comfort and guidance. The Internet has also made religious texts and scholarly articles readily available to anyone with a connection. This accessibility has allowed for a more in-depth analysis of religious doctrines, enabling individuals to make informed decisions about their beliefs. Moreover, the Internet has facilitated the rise of alternative spiritual practices, attracting those who are disenchanted with organized religion but still seek a spiritual connection. From mindfulness and meditation apps to online courses on naturalist spirituality, the Internet provides a plethora of options for those seeking a different path. The Internet has truly revolutionized the way we approach religion, making it easier than ever to question and challenge traditional beliefs. It has provided a platform that fosters open dialogue, encourages critical thinking and offers a lifeline to those grappling with their faith. It is without doubt a game changer in our pursuit of understanding the divine and our place in the universe. We've now looked at several key factors contributing to the decline in church attendance. So what does this mean for the future of religion? 
We've journeyed through the role of science and education, the influence of secularism, changing social values and the impact of the internet. Each of these aspects has played a significant role in shaping a shift towards a more individualized, personalized approach to spirituality. This shift does not signify the end of the spiritual journey for many, rather it's a transformation, a metamorphosis if you will. It's a move away from traditional organized forms of worship towards more personal, introspective and often solo spiritual practices. This could mean anything from meditation to nature walks to simple acts of kindness, reflecting a more holistic, inclusive approach to spirituality. While traditional religious institutions may be seeing a decline, it's clear that the quest for spiritual understanding and fulfillment is still very much alive. It's just taking on new forms.